I have been to Madhi Himalaya with uh, Ram. <coughs> Uh, actually, it was uh, more crowded than I thought because apparently Hanapuna is closed because of the snowfall, and uh, because of that, probably there was a fair number of people uh, in Madhima, which I actually didn't expect. Anyway, uh, I mean, I started on the 18th of uh, March, and uh, from Pokra, and uh, went to Kadi. Then from Kadi through Australian camp to Durali uh, and then to Durali I spent the night and then one night was spent at uh, Forest Camp and then another night at uh, Badal Danda. <coughs> Actually originally uh, my plan was to go to High Camp, spend uh, two days there and to go to the base camp, not the Himal base camp, but uh, couldn't do it because uh, beyond high camp it was impossible to go because the snow was uh, just high. Uh, even uh, actually, even after forest camp, we met, uh, we got some snow uh, at low camp. There was about ankle deep snow, and from low camp all the way up to. Badal Danda, it was about knee deep snow and uh, actually fortunately the path was cleared because people had walked and it was a little maybe about ankle level but uh, then uh, from Badal Danda also it was about knee deep it was like a carpet I mean, couldn't see the earth it was fully covered with uh, snow and uh, Though we had planned to spend two nights at high camp, we decided not to spend two days at high camp because we couldn't go beyond high camp. So we stopped at Badal Danda, stayed two nights there, did a day trip to uh, high camp and then returned. Uh, up till the day that I had, I went to high camp, nobody had gone beyond that. So from all the way from, basically from low camp, it was I was walking in snow. So what do you want to say about the food, accommodation, you know, difficulties, um, beauty, you know, like natural beauty? The Australian camp is a very nice area. Uh, on my way back, actually, I spent one night, which, which was not scheduled, but I spent one night in Australian camp. <coughs> and uh, Durali is okay. Uh, the tea houses are okay. But forest camp and Badalanda, the uh, tea, tea houses are not, they are there but they are not very comfortable, I would say. Even the food I felt was not very clean. Mm. But, and, you know, apart from that, high camp is very nice. High camp is, actually, I made a mistake by staying at Badalanda, I should have gone all the way to high camp and stayed there because that was a very nice place to stay. Uh, I would advise it, anybody to do that because I would spend the least amount number of days I need to in forest camp and badal dana because they are not clean. Food is not very hygienic I would say. Uh, but high camp is fine. In fact I had a bit of a tummy problem starting from forest camp for which I had to take medication. Uh, but it was not too bad. <coughs> uh, what else can I say? What do you want to say about the guide and then company's uh, guide responsibility? Is guide is fine. Uh, Mahesh was fine. Uh, he and I actually sort of changed our plan according to what we wanted because you know we had to make contingency plans when uh, you know the track was basically closed. Uh, <laughs> In fact, uh, walking on ice was something that I had wanted to do, uh, which, you know, I didn't think I'd meet ice at 3,000 meters, but it was snow all the way, all the way to high camp, and it was fun. Uh, well, I never fell, but Mahesh fell. <laughs> uh, managed to do it. I had good shoes, of course. So.
Mahesh is fine. Ram has organized, uh, organized it. They, basically, we had been, you know, talking and we had organized it uh, the way probably I like. I wanted to take it a little slower this time, so it was fun. Thank you.